Hey guys, how you going? Uh, I was reading an article on Flipboard the other day and uh, I discovered that there is a new firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S3 um, that's just been leaked and uh, so here's the article that I read and okay so I thought well I better install this firmware and I encountered a few problems so I thought I'd uh, share my problems with you guys and uh, hopefully get you guys all on the new firmware. So the first thing <clears throat> uh, that was discussed was why would you install this new firmware? Well, apparently there are some features that are on the S4, Galaxy S4 that can that can now be worked with S3. So that is the reason why you should get this firmware. Some other features include uh, new lock screens, driving mode, uh, addition of voice controls, and so on. Read this article to find out more. Um, but basically, the first thing that this article suggested you to do is download this file. And it became a pretty slow download for me. So what I did was I went and Googled this file name. So, uh, if you have a look, if I just type this file name into Google and I search for it, there are actually a lot of places where you can download this. And for me, living in Australia, this, this first link that came up, this is actually the fastest link. So, if I click on... Uh, So if I just download this uh, file from here, um, forgot where I actually clicked download. Here, this download button here, which is not very visible. But if you click that button there, you should be able to download it. And uh, so that's the first step. <clears throat> Once you have downloaded it, uh, so I've downloaded it into this folder here into my desktop and once you've downloaded it you want to open up the zip file and you want to extract all the files and there are two files you can see one is a olden 3 version 3.04 zip and another file is a <clears throat> md5 file so you need to extract both files so I've extracted both files into this folder and then what you need to do is you're going to run Odin. So I'm running Odin now. And what you want to make sure that you do is you want to check auto reboot, check F reset time, do not check repartition. And where it says PDA, you want to click on that and you want to just make sure that you double click on the file that you just unzipped the MD5 file double click on that and now you're going to put your phone into download mode so uh, if you've forgotten how to do that uh, I'm just going to do it with my phone right now so I'm just turning my phone off <clears throat> so if you've forgotten how to do that, well, uh, one of my other tutorials already shows you, but basically you're going to press the volume down button on the left hand side of your phone, you're going to press the home button, which is down the bottom, down the bottom here, so volume down, home, and then you're going to press the power on button all at the same time, and then you're just going to wait for it and then a message comes up so uh, wait for the message to come up and that's when you're gonna press the volume up button to continue and then uh, now I'm gonna hook up my phone to the USB cable which is here so hook it up 
and then now it's uh, now it's uh, you can see that in the olden uh, screen it's um, got the signal saying that your phone is connected and then all you gotta do now is press start so I'm gonna press start and uh, you can see that it's <clears throat> now flashing the new firmware onto my phone uh, it's gonna take a while so uh, I'm gonna put this on pause and then come back when it's done